combat forecast will be shown before a commander unit to attack. The attack speed of one unit is greater than the others by four or more the faster than the yellow sword types. This is indicated by times two next to the attack's might. Sorry, clicked on the wrong thing. Right, okay. Okay. Hey, student. I came this far mostly on impulse, but I wonder if it was the right choice. No, it probably wasn't, but. Everything will be okay, right, now. right, Professor? I'm not wrong, am I? If I know that you think it's no. okay. I feel like it will be easier to believe in myself. Thank you, unnamed student. Go talk to yes. this unnamed student. To be frank, I'm not sure whether I should believe all that Edelgard says. But if her words are true, I think it's best to be her ally. Okay. Good to know. So I'll fight. I'm not at ease with that decision just yet, but I'll stick by it. Okay! Well, let's here, so. No, let's not about first. We will join forces with the main army and attack Garrick Mark. Okay. It's a fortress built on steep ground, but it's never seen battle. That means we don't know much about it from a military perspective. But if we use all of the power at our disposal, we will capture it. Okay. Have From a purely mathematical standpoint, we most certainly have the power to win. If the battle becomes a clash of beasts within human strength, oh you will be our only hope. I believe in you. Thank I'm you. relying on you to lead the Black Eagle Strike Force. We will! To Black Eagle Strike Force is a go! Okay, well, let's go talk to the Black Eagle Strike Force. That's cool. Okay, let's Oh, right, hang on. Supports. We have those unlocked. Okay, let's do hers and my Cynthia. Edelgard, do you have a minute? How are you able to? Whatever. You want to speak with me? How unusual. Please, come in. I'll prepare some tea for us. Are you, but Have a seat. Not there Would you care much? for some cake? Yes, please. I never say no to sweets. They're from Enbar. A bit too sweet for my own liking. Isn't that the whole point of cake? Well, more for me. <laughs> That's mm, like my Cynthia. These are fantastic with this tea. <laughs> True. Right. Well, there's no shortage of them. Help yourself to as many as you like. Now then, you wish to speak with me? So, I, uh, can tell you no uh -oh. fair bit about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's enjoying the uh, nice. Maybe this can wait until you've finished eating? <laughs> mm -hmm. Edelgard, you know a fair bit about me, don't you? What in particular? For example, the fact that I have two crests. Oh, dang! Oh, that's uh. hard to believe. No need to play coy with me. It won't work. It's clear my body has succumbed to the intense pressure of bearing two crests. Due to the immense requirements of bearing these crests, my life expectancy is painfully short. You know all of this, right? Actually, this is the first I'm hearing of it. How would I know unless you told me? Still won't drop the act, huh? <laughs> Despite how obvious she you've been with your concern about my health, you're certainly consistent. My Cynthia, she's been uh, able to make people not guess that it was her that's the flame emperor. We only found out recently. Like, it's not that hard to believe.
I'm not really in the mood for these games. Given your rank, you, you certainly have access to all kinds of information that others do not. Clearly, you'd have heard all about me. Yes. Either way, I know now since you just told me. About your two crests, your physical weakness, and your short life expectancy. Uh -oh. However, according to the principles of crest research, it's impossible to bear two crests. Edelgard, you told me that you have two... Oh. Unless... You've undergone a blood reconstruction surgery. Is that the case, Lysithia? Oh, okay. Correct. It wasn't as though I had a say in any of this. No. Nope. I see. So you've lived through that relentless terror and agony and survived. Interesting. You speak of all of this as though you understand it on a personal level. Edelgard, have you? You both have white hair. You're a good friend, Lysithia, and a valuable member of this army. Oh. So I won't have you overexerting yourself. I don't want to lose you. Understand? I understand. Wait. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, and if you like those cakes, why not take some with you for later? Okay. There's no need to pander to me. But, yes, I'll take those. Thanks. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Right, and then I believe it's just me and Alfar. I'm so sick of it all. Sure you are. There is so much to be done, yet all I encounter are new problems and pitfalls. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I wish I could spend just one day doing absolutely nothing and gorging myself on sweets. <laughs> Did my Sophia get to you, Edelgard? Sounds like which are the burdens of an emperor. This isn't like you. Let's do just that. Even I have moments of self-indulgence, you know. <laughs> yes. But Hubert would never allow it. Willie really now. That's too bad. Indeed. It may not be possible now, but one day we will know the joys of idling. Mark my words. Okay. Is that a smirk I spy? Is it so amusing to you, me daydreaming of free time? Yes. You must understand me. <laughs> Your silly grin says otherwise. I got support with her too. That's great. But let's put all that aside for now. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. Oh. I'm afraid this might sound a bit sentimental. However, okay, tell me. I want to thank you. Because of you, I feel I can walk my faded path without losing myself. Well, if I were alone, I might have lost perspective and become a harsh leader with a heart of ice. It's you've only been an emperor for a month, fatal guard. Hold it. But I'm not alone. With you by my side, I'm somehow free to be not only a leader. But simply Edelgard. Okay. You have many allies. True. I am fortunate to be surrounded by many wonderful companions. Nevertheless, you are different from the rest. Yay? Until now, no one has been able to surpass me, much less command me. Oh, good. I have always been seen as an untouchable princess or emperor. Oh. No one spoke to me as an equal or met my gaze without flinching. Oh. It was lonely, terribly lonely. The only person I could rely on as I tried to claw my way out of the darkness was myself. That's terrible. But you, you have been a brilliant light. Somehow you have chased the darkness away. And for that, I will always be grateful. Okay, thank you. Right, so Hubert and Bernadetta. Good, good morning. The weather is nice today. So, uh, it's uh, really nice weather we're having, isn't it? Oh boy. Indeed. Did you want something? I just, uh, I'm really sorry. I can't accept your apology until I know what it's for. Oh, 
Oh, true. Good point. I'm sorry I said you were terrifying. Is that all? I'm used to that. Wow. No apology necessary. Wow, used to it that. But you've been it's avoiding me since then, right? You even stopped doing your deathly grin. I am merely trying not to frighten you. Oh. Is there something wrong with that? I think Hubert has a heart. Um, it's not working. That's not entirely yes, cool. There is. It's made out of ice. You can't quit talking and laughing just to try to make me feel better. That's not really fair. I need to master my own fear. Okay. Is that right? Yes. R right. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You told me not to forego laughing, so I laughed as hard as How I could. How is it the guy that can is it helping to voice conquer your fear? And also voice such a... Yes, I mean someday it might, maybe. Not ah, no sort of an evil character like Hubert. <laughs> Who else do you have to- Oh, Shamir! What is it, Hubert? Oh, no. Nothing in particular. I was just recalling your impressive skill with the bow. Oh? I'm willing to bet you could put an arrow through the neck of an enemy general from quite a distance. Yes. In fact... To any leader's bodyguard, I would go so far as to say you pose the most dangerous kind of threat. Oh no. This is where you're getting your fragile little self. Your fragile little is self. Safe. I wouldn't shoot my employer. I would certainly hope not. But there are some mercenaries to whom a contract means little. And you would do well to remember that Lady Edelgard is no mere princess. Oh you should take care to learn the proper form of address for your employer. You were... I said lady. <laughs> I already told you. I'm not going to break the princess's contract. What did I just say? <laughs> Get him! Proper address. Right. Next time. My patience has limits, you know. Yeah, so do mine. For the moment, you may stand in Lady Edelgard's good graces. But if you become a problem, I will not hesitate to eliminate you. Great. You're unstable, Hubert. Thank you! Uh, unstable, that's the word. Be careful who you threaten. I don't take kindly to those who get in the way of my contracts. Is that a threat? Just some advice. Oh, great. This is gonna go well. Okay, is that it? And then it's only... Yes. Let's get that Hello, support. Hello, Constance. Greetings, Ferdinand. My condolences on your misfortune that our paths have crossed again. Oh dear. Oh dear. I am not used to hearing you deprecate yourself like that. Never mind. Just listen. If it is an audience you require, I will oh, endeavor no. to meet that need. So the child's name is going to go well. When we last spoke, I was attempting to connect with you, to listen and show you some empathy. And I was so clumsy with my words that I came across as callous and conceited. I hurt you. I know. <gasps> the notion that a noble of House Iyer could display arrogance is difficult to credit. That you even deign to speak to me is a testament to your humility. Oh dear. As grateful as I am for the honor, it would be best for us both if I take my leave. No, please, hear me out. Oh, for a man. Though your words chafed, I see now that they were perceptive. I was being arrogant. Oh. I tend to overcompensate. Perhaps I make a fool of myself bragging about my superiority to Edelgard. You do yourself a disservice. If you are a fool, then I am Folly herself. Okay. But you must know that it is no reflection on your sterling quality, Ferdinand. Oh? Even in the face of such adversity, you never strayed from the correct path. 
Um, this was the right path. The wrong path hardly bears thinking about. Still, your kindness has eased my worries a bit. Uh, a wise noble once said that life is a series of peaks and valleys, but I have struggled to find the peaks. Uh, I was once pushed to the nadir of a valley, and have spent my days confined there ever since. Oh, dear, there is little sad. chance that I will ever return to the heights I once knew, but no. it will not be for lack of trying. Oh. Your persistence is admirable. You are too gracious. I see the highest of peaks on your own road. The way is steep, but not long. You will reach it yet. Good. And if my words might reach the ears of a man who has attained such heights, oh. perhaps one who has reached his summit might pull a climber up behind him? Such is my heart's desire. Unspeakable, though it may be. Wait, is she asking him for help? Okay, this is wholesome. Say something! Oh. Okay, hey, Gonzo. I, I knew nothing of Lady Edelgard's past or of her innermost feelings. But I know now. I persuaded her to tell all. It would have been rude to hound her relentlessly until she revealed herself, yes? Mm -hmm. And that's certainly not what I did. <laughs> In other words, I totally did it. And I don't have anything for you. It is right, not Gilbert. up to Her Majesty to bring the students to our cause. That task falls to you. Thank you. Those who have forsaken their homelands to join the Empire will be feeling vulnerable. I'm sure they will you be. are uniquely able to provide emotional support. Okay. Please use that gift to guide others down the path that Lady Edelgard has laid before us. I will try. I ask you to do this from the bottom of my heart. I'll try. No, I'm not giving you your gift. Hi, you surprised that I'm here, are you? I know a winning side when I see it. Thank you! I mean, there's no way I'd risk my neck and my people by willfully joining a losing battle. True. You're really yeah, careful. I do. We'll see how this all shakes out. Well, depends on how we, and you, fight. Okay. Regardless of who comes after us, even if it's the Knights, we've got you on our side, so it'll all be fine. Thank you. Yep, nothing. Hey, Katspar. Hi, Lindhar. The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor, my father included. Oh. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspar's are supporting Edelgard. Well, that's good, then. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control oh, over the Empire's saying... military and finances. You're kind of saying the same thing you said for Novice and Golden Deer. Interesting. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Yeah, he's saying pretty much the exact same thing, except the beginning was different. I could have gotten dangerous fast. If I stayed at the monastery, I would have had to fight my father. Well... We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. Wait, you have problems with your father? I'd almost rather fight a monster. Anyway, it looks like well, he's going to be leading do the that, rest of the I, I wonder if we'll wind up fighting the Kingdom's army, and who decided to fight for the church. Yes, I'm just going to tell you right now, yes. Hey, Balthus. What's the deal, pal? You don't want me here? Come on, have a heart. This side is where all the action is. No. Look, I'll level with you. I want to help that Edelgard gal achieve her goal. I mean it. If her Majesty gets what she's after, my mother will... Forget it. Now's not the time. 
We've got to keep our heads in the game so we can win, yeah? Your actual mother or set mother? It's fine. Having Yuri on our side will help things. He's not someone you want to have as an enemy. Nice, okay. Why am I going for the horse? With the Empire taking over Garrick Mach, I wonder what will happen to Abyss. Some I don't people know. have spent their whole lives there. For their sake, I hope Abyss doesn't get trampled into ruin. I'll make sure to bring up a Thale guard. I probably should check them. You should try talking about it with Eddie. I mean, Her Majesty. She might listen to you. Eddie, I didn't realize that's what you Also, her. this is less important. But if somebody trashes my room, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. Yes. I ran them, soldier. Black Eagle Strike Force, eh? I like it. Thank you. It's really a twist of fate that brought me to this side of things. But I'm still proud to be here. Thanks. Hey, Fernand. I asked Edelgard what happened to my father. He was dismissed as prime minister and is under house arrest in the Imperial capital. To be fair, I met your father and I didn't like him. He always was a greedy, arrogant man. Some would say that this is the fate he deserves. Why about you? And yet I cannot help but feel indignant. After all his hard work for the Empire, to be disgraced like this. Well? I am conflicted, Professor. I do not know what to do. As the next Duke Iyer, should I follow Edelgard into battle? Yes, you should. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? You... This is the exact same thing you have. I thought you would have something different. I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but... The more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. We will not lose. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're fighting the Knights of Saros. Still, I know you'll figure something out. Just keep dancing for us and you'll be fine. The Empire and Bridget were once warring with each other. Okay. But now, I have made the decision to be fighting with the Empire. It is a yeah. choice of irony, I feel. But I am having no regrets. No rats. My belief is no with you rats. and with Edelgard. Thank you. Hey, Bernie. Oh, come on. Don't even get my own room here. At least I had that at home. I'm sorry, Bernadetta. But speaking of home, Hubert told me something. Oh? He said my father was stripped of his title. I guess he did as he pleased and opposed Edelgard. Oh, dear. Wait. That mean my father's going to be home all the time now. On second thought, I think I'm fine right here. Okay. Sorry, Bernadetta. We'll deal with your father. Hey, Maria. Imagine making half the world your enemy for the sake of realizing your own ideals. Yeah. Edelgard is so radiant and strong compared to someone like me. Marianne. What if I have the power to change the world too? Even just a little bit. Okay. Yep. Hey there. Hi. If the church is behind the current state of things, this society in which only crests are valued, then I have no need of it. Edelgard is taking the shortest path to change. No matter how drastic her measures, I agree that this is the only way. Really? That said, if Edelgard strays from her noble path, I trust you will set her straight again. Won't you? Yes, yes I will. I'll try my best. I am counting on you, Professor. Yes. My soldier. I have heard the name Lord Vestra mentioned among the Purge noble families of the Empire. He's Hubert's father, but Hubert seems rather unconcerned about it. Yeah. That alone is why we soldiers find Hubert quite frightening. That should be frightening. Anyway. Right. Hey, Ignatz. 
to think things would come to this. Even a few months ago, I never could have imagined it. I believe in you, Here Professor. So I'm stealing myself. Thanks, you really don't be belong here, battle, but... but I'm not running away from the fight. That's fine. I just recruited you so I won't have to kill you. Hi, Ash? I can't bring myself to trust the Church of Saros. Not after they killed Lenato and my brother. Okay, I was thinking you don't belong here either, but you know what? Kind of makes sense, actually. I need to know the truth. Even if it means turning my weapon on Fargus. Thanks. I guess Lenato would be happy to hear me say that. If he were still around. Yeah, he probably would. Hmm. Hi, who are you yes. two? I'm Randolph von Burglis. I'm not very high in the ranks yet, but I'm more or less a general. Okay. Just like Kaspar, I'm from House Burglis. Oh. My mother married into House Burglis after I was born, so my position within the family is rather lowly. Oh. But I'm determined to make something of myself in this battle to bring glory to my part of the family, for the sake of my mother and sister. Good to know. Hi! I believe that this is the first time we have met. My name is Ladislava. Uh, actually, it's the second time. We met on another timeline where I joined Quad. I have the great honor of leading Lady Edelgard's personal guard. Thank you. Her Majesty is as hard on others as she is on herself. She may seem composed, but that is only because she conceals her more passionate emotions. For well. that reason, she is often misunderstood. But now she has you by her side. Thank I you. find that most reassuring. I look forward to working with you. You, you're, she's a live burn for I believe. Hey, Lawrence. I've decided to ally myself with Lady Edelgard. Father will doubtless understand my reasoning. Yeah, House probably. Gloucester has always had good intentions in its dealings with the Empire. I'm sure they Of course, have. this does mean I will no longer be able to avoid a confrontation with Claude. Oh, wait. So you mean you don't want to fight Claude? It is unfortunate. We were classmates after all. He doesn't want to fight Claude. Oh my gosh, this is surprising. Okay. Hi, Mercedes. I think I see one Surely more this is what the to. goddess willed, isn't it? I feel she would not have wanted the Church of Saros to become what it has. Thank you. Okay. Right, right. I'm a Bye. soldier, but I had to think long and hard about this one. Ah. Since birth, I've believed in the teachings of Saros without ever questioning them. Uh, but Her Majesty's well. words are true. Think that the Archbishop can take on such a monstrous form. Yeah. Shocking. Had no idea. Hello. Okay. Right, and now. Welcome. Don't know what I need to buy. No, Please come again. Uh, hold on. Waxman? Yeah. Hey there. Is this Is it? Hammer plus. There you go. Move Is this it? Okay. There you go. This may burn in even more deadly. More deadly, deadly. Yeah, we don't. We need our. Campus. Is this it? There you go. Nice.
I don't need to do. Come back anytime. Okay, we're in the quarry. Petra. Okay, we're gonna store that and then. Welcome. I wanna buy Petra a killer sword. We're killing edge. Let's Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. Okay, that should be good. Don't spin. I can't think of anything else I need. Talk to everyone else. Time to save. I cause I have talked to everyone, but none of them are having soft bubbles. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, right, okay. Right. Talk to everyone. Let's go. Emperor Aragon has declared one of the so it's the greatest in the world that's created. This move is the top of the most prominent symbol of the church. Let's do it. Let's go. Interesting. So we're just going straight. Uh, we will soon arrive at Garig Mock Monastery. Gosh. Forcing a surrender here is extremely significant, both strategically and symbolically. Okay. Of course, this is personal as well. This is where we all came together to learn and grow. I have no intention of yielding to our former classmates. So I ask that you prepare yourselves for anything. Are we gonna have to, are we gonna have to fight my like, club and Dimitri on this? I know they will die. We'll see them post time skip. Dang, I'm not thinking about savage. friends right now, and I'm certainly not prepared. Damn it, don't go around saying things that lower morale before we even get started. I'm ready! Let's go! Let's fight! Thank you, I have nothing to lose aside from my friends who are here with me. Does that answer satisfy you? Yes? I have been ready for this since leaving my land of home. I will fight and win. How can you yes. prepare to fight? Maybe I can prepare to prepare. There okay. is no reason that I should not be prepared. It is my duty to stand up and battle. Thank you. Thank you all. Now, let's talk strategy. Okay. As the raiding force, we will attack the area nearest to the monastery. The Knights of Saros certainly won't stand down after they catch sight of Her Majesty and the Professor. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the remaining areas will be surrounded and annihilated by the main army. Cool. In other words, we that. are the decoy that must suppress All the enemy's people. most elite soldiers. Wait. We know more about the area near the monastery than anyone else in the Imperial Army. Probably true. Still, we must prepare for the worst. It's possible we will have to face the Archbishop's true form, the Immaculate One. Not yet. Fight with I all you so. have, but don't be reckless. As promised, I will leave the command to our professor. I'll protect you all. Not only will we all survive this, but we will undoubtedly emerge victorious. Except I'm going to fall away into to nothingness and disappear for five years. 
so we're totally all going to wait around. Right into the battle. This will be our first battle as the Black Eagle Strike Force. All the more reason to prevail. Let's do it. She's the bottom of your allies. The charm stats of Raven and Gus will increase too. If you are a good host. Try to pick conversation topics that you think your guests will like. If they are having fun, they might choose topics of their own as well. Keep your guests happy and they will stay as long as you like. Gosh, this is so... <sighs> oh. Oh, dang, in this. Right? Yeah, I will see. I got the volume. This seems extremely quiet to me. God. There we go. That might help. Oh. Okay. So, oh, I have to have put humor slow on the level to everyone else. Oh, not entirely. Oh boy. Yeah, we're we'll definitely bring. No, Dorothy is staying in. I need my dancer. Okay. During the holy night, I can have to move around more. Assassin Petra. Let's bring her and have constant speed of that detect. Let's bring in Lent Park. Uh, as much as I want someone else. One more person we can bring in one more adjective. Oh, oh, hi Randolph. the guild bird. Ah, here's Lady Wait. What? Why is she a paladin? Okay. Paladin, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I want Petra and... Okay, who do I bring as my final unit? Opportunity for victory will come, but first we must see to our defenses. I don't think the truth will come. I'll be not on your side. The city's defenders are trying to stall for time. We must crush them swiftly. Okay. We should be wary of ambushes as well. Great. Vladislava is being pushed on the left flank. We must push back with equal force. Okay. Great. I am Perfect. Ferdinand von Eyer. You are Ferdinand. Why? No, deal with the short axe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That was nothing. Let's go. You should be on it. Warp someone. Stay focused. Can't get there. Ugh. Battle. Wait, there's a talk. Just what we need. I knew Her Majesty's allies would help us out. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that's good against heavy armor. I'll go this side. Put me in there. No. Let's go. 
I will get the victory. Come on, where's your sword? There we go. Well, I'll deal with you guys in a bit. Okay, eventually we're gonna have to get to you, I have a feeling. I'll give it my all. Thank you, Ash. You only wow. I uh, I need to give you more weapons. To work. Okay, we're gonna have to have you dismount and then wait. As you wish. I will prevail. Emma? I can heal. Yeah, I'm going to go this Okay, I could either dance Shamir or I dance Hubert. That's my cue. Come and dance. Appreciate it. Nice. Well, like what you see? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. Go for that one. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Frit. I can always depend on you. <laughs> nice. Well done, Petra. I will not be stopping. Good. They're gonna repeat that kind of piece. Mm-hmm. Reinforcements. I think I set my main forces there. Now! Hidden soldiers! Attack! Mm-hmm. There we go. Go. Are 
we done? Yes, we are. I blame. Yeah. Really, ally? You are. Oh, you're annoying. Your turn comes. Attack. Nice. Only a fool challenges me. Good. We need fools. That, yeah, that's gonna be useful. So easily. You don't want to warp. It's fine, you're attacking. Gun Gale. Let's get this over. Yes. Victory. That was fun to watch. Attack. Let's go. Nice. Well done. Yeah, it worked. Witnessing it. Hard nice. work created this. Well done. We got this. Okay. Attack with the hammer plus. Your defeat was inevitable. Nice. See results. Nice. Good try. <laughs> nice. Come on, no, nope. that's fine. 
What? It's oh, it's oh no. They got they definitely thought of that. Um should have taken your ring. Fine, well then. I've at least gotta do something. Thunder! Shut up! Nice. As expected. Finally, that went that actually is good. I'll deal with her in hand later. Okay, come on. Flint heart, can you? out of your reach. my time. No? Yeah, let's put that. Is that it? I don't want an attack set up yet. We're gonna wait. I could have him go up there. She got physic. You know what? Give it to her. I thank you. Gotta make you useful at least once. Got many things I'm gonna like say. Okay. You can go and deal. Someone to come and heal you. Must protect Garrick Mock. I must protect everyone. Oh, sad. God. Nice. Both of them level up. Retreat while you still can, Flame. I beg you! Oh, this is even more heartbreaking! Understood. Stay safe, uh, brother. And she almost called him father. Oh, this is 
more heartbreaking. I'm gonna hate this route. <gasps> we will lend the Empire strength. Thank you, Death Knight! Hmm? Don't worry, we're allies now. I understand you must have many questions, but they'll have to wait until after the battle. Stay okay. vigilant. Yeah, please. How do we get through I don't know. Okay. Yep. That's not even. Maybe. I want... Yeah. No, I need the mace. Wait, the mace does nothing? Oh dear. Well? Unfortunately, you must die here. You should never have defied the goddess. Oh, nice. Alright. Come on, come on, please. All my money. Yes! Oh, thank you! Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you, Constance! My master's name. I cannot allow myself to fall here. I must Thank withdraw. you, Constance. You have that crit. You will survive this hardship. Just hold on. Okay. Let's do I will this. Show no mercy to anyone who attacks Rhea. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank goodness, no friends. I cannot yield. Oh my gosh, that shield. Oh, no, wait, disconnected. Oh shoot. Connection? Cool, okay. Put your lives on the line to protect us. I would have preferred to have more time to prepare, but we cannot delay any longer. Come forth. Protect Garrick Mock Monastery from those despicable rebels. <gasps> oh! No! Catherine! I'll oh, crush them all. Cyril! Is the what? Her enemies are my enemies. Oh, 
Ferdinand von Eyre. Attack for armored strike. Unfortunately, you must die here. Come on. Come on, come on. No! Come on. Come on, Constance. Please finish him. Yes, you did it! Thank you! No, you didn't do it! Dang it! I'll give it my all. That's how well it goes. Done. Yes, indeed. To work. There's how far I can get extremely high crit on. No. If I use the brave bow. I might be able to get into a shop before she can You me. shall not pass! I will protect Garrig Mock! Yeah, no, I'm so... Yeah, no, I have too many people that need to get healed. Must protect Garrig Mock. I must protect everyone. Nice. Mm -hmm. Level up. Level up. Retreat while you still can, Flane. I beg you. Uh, Understood. It hurts. Stay safe, uh, brother. Thank you. We will lend the Empire strength. Thank you. Yeah, I will be surprised. Don't worry. We're allies now. I understand you must have many questions, but they'll have to wait until after the battle. I don't think I'm gonna get this questions answered. Yes, I did. That was good. Okay, the brave bow was the thing. Hang on. Can I war? Battle. War. Can I get Aelgard over there? I will prevail. Mm. 
No, I can't. I will prevail. I have to move you up. Brave Axe. Put me in there. Let's go. I will show no mercy. Yep, no mercy for those who attack. I cannot yield. I'm sorry, but us. Stay focused. Let's use it. You side with the Empire. If you turn your sword on the church and on the kingdom, I care not who you are. I will end you just the same. Yeah. Yeah. Let this be a lesson. Yes. Yeah. Okay. My master's name. I cannot allow myself to fall here. I must withdraw. Seteth, Flame, Gilbert. You put your lives on the line to protect us. Yep. I would have preferred to have more time to prepare, but we cannot delay any longer. Come forth. Protect Garrick Mock Monastery from those despicable rebels. Mm. Yep. It's so our turn. I'll crush them all. Her enemies are my enemies. I'm willing to bet if I had recruited the teachers of Tremere, they would be showing up on this map. This is good, okay. Linhart, can you get me? Can you 
get Dorothea over to me. No, but... Always nice. Yep, there we go. Okay. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Does it come up to attack me? Doesn't matter, we'll just use this for now. As you wish. No, we're not doing that. Might need it. To work. Cyril's gonna come at me. By all means, do so. Silenced. I'm expecting to have unique dialogue, right? Nothing personal. Yes! Oh my gosh! Ah! 
perfect. Lady Rhea, I couldn't fight hard enough. I'm sorry. Soon. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. They're not dead! They just disappeared! Mm. Yeah. Oh, that can do some. Uh, oh, thank goodness, that missed. Nice. Any experience is worth having. I 
go. Let's wield it. There we go, Petra. I thank you. She may not be able to dance anyone. But that was nothing. You should be honored. Nice. Always getting stronger. That they're both stunned. Was tough. Yeah, it was. Who's going to attack me? Doesn't matter. So who's attacking? That. Okay. Think this through. Yeah, let's have you, let's fuse you. Ugh. And then I can heal you. Oh dear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Do it. Uh, amazing! Wish it was stop yelling at him! Nice! Thank you! Okay, how far can you go? You go to right there. Hmm, okay. I'll put you right behind her. Have your way, and then dance. Thank you.
damage, a humor. Okay. You are. Nice. How humiliating. Your skill is impressive. I'm almost there. I'm almost to her. Catherine, and I will slay all of Lady Rhea's enemies, including you. I really expect the most to come. Right I guess this is so Yes. Please. Yes. Okay. Bye. Lady Rhea, I'm sorry. Please stay safe. She's holding on by a thread. All is well, Catherine. You must not die here. More success. Ooh, um, she has no weapons. Oh, well. What? Let's go up here. I need you to get that. I'm good now. Okay, 
Let's do it. No matter your reasons, I cannot permit you to go on living any longer. The feeling is mutual. I must put a stop Great. to your reign of tyranny. You must know what a fool you are. The greatest of sins is to make an enemy of the goddess herself. I have only made an enemy of the church, not of the faith. True. <laughs> nice! Huh, that was done zero damage. Oh boy. I will not allow Garrick Mock or my mother to fall. Your mother? Oh, right, you mean the goddess. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh. Okay, this is uh, different. You will not be forgiven. Professor, keep oh. out. The oh. castle is crumbling. We must escape. Ah, so this is how. Professor. Take cover! Professor! Oh, so that's how I'm gonna disappear. In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hesfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice wow. but to surrender. Okay. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Saros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. After a hard-fought battle, she was forced to retreat to Ferdiad, nice. the capital of Fargus, where she must now Hello. plan her next move. Done. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. Great. The unification of Fodlin has begun. Great! Thank you, Dead Jack, for telling me all these things. After the month, you can find items and this blah 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 too late. Ooh! Part 2. Crimson Flower. This Ethereal is interesting. Moon. Beyond Escape. It is Imperial Year 1185. Half a decade has passed since Emperor Edelgard ascended the Imperial Throne. Yet the continent of Fodlin still remains lost in a tempest of turmoil and bloodshed. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, King Dimitri has welcomed Archbishop Rhea and her knights, who were driven out of oh, the to the kingdom capital. As they work to build a unified front, the war with Dang. the Empire rages on to the west. Okay, what about, what about Claude? Claude, leader of the Alliance, staves off Imperial intervention by strategically stirring up conflicts between Leicester lords in an effort to feign neutrality. Oh! Well As done, events Claude. unfold, Edelgard and her Black Eagle strike force begin to take action in an attempt Dang. to break the war's current state of deadlock. So they're so calm themselves that. You know, after all, this is done. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Oh, hi, Sophus. Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. I'm still sleepy. <sighs> you are a complete and utter fool! Have you not changed one bit? 
No. Get on your feet. Right now, it's only been, I'll like, cuddle you no more. You are just time. like a child, always needing me to me. hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? Yes. Where am I? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Barrett Mock is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Really? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Okay, well, good. There have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Regardless, the Imperial Army has taken over now. Five years. Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? No, I've just been asleep. It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Great. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Yeah. Millennium Festival. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing it all. She's not missing, though. She's with Dimitri! I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? The monastery. Are you crazy? The Imperial Army is there. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. Uh, no need to worry about me. Unbelievable. Hello. This is gonna be interesting to see how my lord reacts. Five years ago to the day. If things had continued on as they were, today would have been the Millennium Festival. Yes, they would have been. Halt! Who's there? It can't be. Professor? Yep. Is it really you? But I searched everywhere and never found a trace. Yep. Wait. There's no cutscene of me joining them. Seriously, like, there should have been a cutscene for this. My teacher. It's such what a have you been doing moment. all this time? Where have you been? I'm sleeping. Joking? At a time like this, you do realize it's been five years since you disappeared. Do you yeah. have any idea how guilty I felt? How broken my heart was? Yeah. I searched no, high yeah. and low after you vanished. Although there was no proof, I somehow knew you were alive. All this time, okay, I led good. everyone as best I could and fought with all my heart. It's been a difficult path to walk alone. But you have you hurt. <sighs> Welcome back, my teacher. Well, at least they're this. I'm so happy that you're safe. Okay, but I do want to take a picture of that. Five years. Such a short time, but it feels like an eternity ago. Do you still feel the way you did all those years ago? You said then that you would fight at my side no matter how many enemies we should amass. Well, I'm stuck on this path, so yes. Ask for me. My resolve has not faltered. I'm determined as ever to see this through to the end. I will defeat the false goddess. I will save this world from those creatures and give humanity its freedom back. So, my teacher, are you prepared to stand with me? I am. Uh, Why am I going to support? I, thank you. Truly. Whatever. Now then, I assume you understand the situation at hand, yes? I really was sleep all this time. Another night. joke? Or are you telling the truth? I suppose you must be. Yep. In that case, I'll tell you all that has transpired as you slumbered these past five years. Uh oh. And that is where we are now. The war is at a stalemate. We're not gonna tell you. But we're not gonna have you tell it because you already know from your dead dad, so... Dimitri is the new king of Fargus. It's clear that his territory will continue to support the church. 
Meanwhile, Claude's leadership has thrown the Alliance into chaos. He maintains neutrality in their internal conflict. The situation has created a deadlock. We've been awaiting an opportunity for our squadron to return to the monastery. Yeah. With you in the fray, I believe the state of the war will shift immediately. Probably will. The church, as well as the kingdom and the alliance. The time has come to eliminate them all. Do we have to kill them all? Rhea, Sedeth, the knights, and the others are in prime condition. They've set up their base within the kingdom capital. The Immaculate One and her family have yet to fight on the front lines. Great. However, we must eventually face and defeat them. It would mean a great deal to have you with us when the time comes. Okay. Good. Well then, I believe it's time for a little reunion. The Black Eagle Strike Force never lost faith. They knew you Yay! were alive and have been awaiting your return. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. Thank you for keeping your faith in me, everyone. If you are unsure what to do next, look to the left side of the screen. Your current objectives will be displayed there. While exploring the monster, use these controls. Each unit has grown over past five years. You should check their classes and weapons. Say what now? This never happened. Uh, thank you. I don't know what's happening. Well now, that face is certainly familiar. I am glad to see you alive and well, Professor. Professor, it's me, Bernie. Do you remember me? I can't believe you're here. I can't believe it. Is this a dream? Can we really be this lucky? This is not dreaming. Our professor is with us again. Welcome to the back. I mean, welcome back. Thank Our group you. isn't the same without you. I am overjoyed to see you again. It's been so long. Seeing you again fills my heart with hope. Thank great. You. Now everything will be easy. Um, that's great you're safe, Professor. <laughs> I'm deeply, deeply moved. Thank you. Quite the reunion, isn't it, Professor? Everyone's happy to see you. Come on, Edelgard. You must be happier than all of us combined. She took it really hard when you disappeared, Professor. <laughs> Did you see that Edelgard blush? Of course, we did our very best in your absence. And there was never a day that we doubted you would return to us. Edelgard has been leading us as Emperor. But after you disappeared, it became apparent that you were her anchor. Thank it you. gives me regret to be admitting this, but our power is not enough. The only one who can be meeting Edelgard's expectations is you, Professor. Thank Most you. impressive of all is your uncanny ability to bring a smile to everyone's face. Thank you. In the years since you vanished, we have not lost anyone from our ranks. We all longed for your presence and your leadership, myself included. I'm sure it seems have. fitting to view this as a new beginning for the Black Eagle Strike Force. We already have our target. Yes, Hello? we must eliminate the Alliance before moving on to fight the Kingdom and the Church. Are we already going to attack Claude? However, that doesn't necessarily mean we must occupy the entirety of the Alliance. Oh. House Regan stands against the Empire. Therefore, our target is Deirdre. You told me that capital. first. You told me the first few months are gonna be me fighting Claude. No! We must cross the Aramid River, which separates the Empire and the Alliance. Oh, okay. So we're doing that bridge mission. Oh, thank goodness. To do that, we must take the largest bridge. bridge across it. The Great bridge, bridge of you know Murden. I can take this. Murden connects the monastery and the imperial capital to the east. It is the shortest route there. Which means I can have. Which means I can have. I, which means I'm not going to see any more reason to bring. Uh, Lorenz after this mission. I'm just going to end up supporting Mercedes. Because I want them to end up together. 
An Alliance stronghold has been built at the Great Bridge. We'll take that and then head north. At the okay. same time, we must defeat the one who defends it, Judith von Daphne. Okay. If we can also take control of Daphne territory, it would be greatly beneficial to us. Right. Prepare yourselves. The next battle will be a momentous one. Join me, my friends, as we begin our journey to bring peace and solace to this war-ravaged world. Yay? But you also started it, so... Uh -huh. Oh god, I get one sprite. Oh? <gasps> sure! Mickey, hi! How incredible. What a striking color. Ah, Professor. Look at this stone. Such a brilliant blue. You don't normally find stones like this around here. I ought to grind it down. I wonder if it would still be the same color. Yeah. To make pigment for my art. Good supplies don't come cheap. I prefer to make my own. Fair. Blue is especially expensive. How fortunate that I chanced upon this remarkable blueness. How fortunate indeed. Oh, I'm sorry. There I go again, blathering on and on about painting. Well, it's just a oh, hobby, yes. right? But I know that I can get rather caught up in it and, uh, enthusiastic. You know, Professor, no matter how impassioned I become about my art, you never hold it against me. I don't see One reason could argue to. that I'm better off preparing for our next battle. I am becoming a knight. Wouldn't you rather become an artist? Oh, Professor. Please don't say things like that. I gave up on my artistic dreams long ago. Well, that's a shame. <coughs> to support my family, I will be a knight. That's that. Okay. You... You will regret that choice. No, I won't. I'm doing the right thing. I'll continue with my art as a hobby. I don't think I could ever give it up. When I well, see something I beautiful, you know that you can't give it up. I can't suppress the urge to paint it. I don't have a choice. And if my art can bring happiness to even one person, that's good enough for me. Good. Long as we're sure. Professor? I have a favor to ask. I'm right. painting a portrait right now. When it's finished, I'd like to give the piece to you. Would you take it? Yes. Perhaps it can bring you a little happiness. That will have made the effort well worth it. Okay. Oh, excellent! Shoot. Is that what a promise? Because I'm really going to put my heart in it. Uh, that is... I'm going to enjoy partaking in this casual hobby of mine. No oh, way. Okay, am I gonna get someone else? Hey, motivation! Sure. Oh, well, so you do get it, Yoli. I'll keep my voice okay. down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Me, 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 me. <clears throat> Something appears to be wrong with my throat. Getting the hang of this. I am indeed. Oh, of course he would. Sure, Caspar. Let's talk. Hey, Professor, something's been bothering me. Oh. Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? Yeah. A knight scolded me for it, but at the time, I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though... Oh? I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this brief. The knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. Oh. 
There is something I wanted to bring to your attention. Oh. The brigands all bore identical tattoos of a scorpion on their arms. No. Please keep an eye out for that mark in the future. Oh no. Thank you. Don't mention it. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? Mm-hmm, totally. As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. It's good to hear the problem being dealt but with. Some of the knights died in combat. They died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. No oh boy. If I'd stayed quiet and tracked the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. It is not your... You do not have blood on your hands. You do not have their blood on your hands. Not necessarily. It's no use trying to comfort me. You know I'm right. Just say it. Those poor knights. It's all my fault. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. And now support little B. Hey, that's it, right? No more support. Oh no, boy. Hey, Aritza. You need burn it down the set as in comics. Oh boy. Do I have. Oh! But what? Okay. I did they all. Fine, whatever. Oh boy. Uh, you seem to have lined up your desserts very meticulously. Oh. What you see before you, Lysithia, is a life choice. Oh, oh. really? Dear. The most skilled pastry chef in the army has been asked to do the impossible in the heart of wartime. Yeah. Source high quality ingredients, employ advanced baking methods, and create these two pastries. Oh, wow. You've put a lot of thought into this. May I? Of course. Okay. You can have but one, though. And it should be noted that they taste completely different. Oh. I thought I'd split them between us, seeing as they were made so carefully and are so very, very special. Ah, thanks. So, what exactly is the life choice you mentioned? Also, if you are not partaking, I'll just go ahead and eat them both. Oh, no. For you see, if you eat one, you simply cannot, must not, eat the other. What? Should you eat both, a pair of ingredients, one in each pastry, will combine to poison you. That seems unnecessarily intense. Just one won't kill me then? Of course not. But making this choice means you will not be able to taste the second dessert, ever. Oh. No matter what I tell you, You'll never know which one tasted best. And if you are underwhelmed by your choice, you'll regret your decision forever. Where are you going with this metaphor, Linhart? So, I should just pick one and be done with it. But you've already chosen, haven't you? Not between the pastries, but your life paths. You would gamble on the chance of living a long life, even if it meant losing your two crests. Correct? Hence, my current choice. Wait, oh? whose choice are we talking about now? A shortened lifespan doesn't necessarily mean a short life. Even with two crests, you might live a long time. Oh? And with you around, the study of crests will undoubtedly reach previously unimagined levels. Sure On the other hand, oh, getting boy. rid of them could help someone that I care about. Maybe. Or maybe it won't help at all. Unfortunately, one never knows until they eat the pastry. Even then, you can never taste them both. Linhart, we need to work on your metaphors. Hang on, Linhart. 
Do you mean to tell me you care about me? Since when? When indeed. You are someone I care about, though. So much so I wish we could be family, you and I. Family? That escalated rather quickly. Oh, hush, let's sit there. Although, having more family does sound nice. Anyway, I need to be going. Oh, and feel free to eat the pastries. I made up the poison bit because I didn't know how else to say what I wished to say. Oh. And because... Well, because I believe there are choices we can make where you can have both. Oh. I'll show you somehow, before the war is over. Well? Are you sure these aren't poisoned? Linhart, wait! Wait! <laughs> Love it. No support. No. Oh boy. Support. <laughs> I can't believe it. How can I show my face to Lady Edelgard after this? No idea. That's what you get, Hubert. If you rested like me, you wouldn't collapse from exhaustion. No problem. As much as it pains me to say it, you're right. But to be looked after oh, by you of all people, that might be the worst part of oh, this. Boy. I don't know how to feel, to be honest. So for now, let's pretend I thanked you. Oh, come now. Even I wouldn't abandon someone who collapsed. You would have in a heartbeat if anyone else had been around. Ah, yes. Quite accurate, Hubert. Why okay. would I ever bother to be a decent person if there were anyone else I could foist the duty upon? If your situation turned bad, it would have been an absolute hassle. I could never just leave you there. If that were the sort of man you truly were, we could never be friends. <laughs> but if we weren't friends, I probably would have just left you. Shame you're so reluctant to do any real work. You're actually pretty good at this. Made sure I was comfortable, checked carefully for injuries, even carried me here yourself. If only you'd apply That's that surprising. knowledge of yours so the proactively and thoroughly all the time. Wow. You'd be a tremendous asset to the Empire. There you go again. I see no problem with staying just the way I am. But think of it this way. Oh boy. In an anthill, 20% of the ants are asleep at any given time. Yeah. And it's not because they're lazy. Far from it. Oh boy. When the working ants become tired, they go to sleep and the others wake up. Okay. That's me. I'm the ant who rests so I can work later when other people are tired. Maybe that's true. But even if it is, it's still just a fancy way to say you let others do all the work. Consider me unconvinced. Okay. I'll consider you a bother and leave it at that. You and Edelgard work far too hard. I mean it. Take a break now and then. If you both collapsed, I think it'd be too much effort for me to bother with. <laughs> Get some rest, Hubert. Not as much as me, of course. <laughs> Fine. Nice. Maybe it's more oak. Oh boy. Ash. Oh, Marianne. Are you confessing again today? No, I was waiting for you. Oh? For me. Yes. Um, I wanted to apologize. You kept trying to encourage me, but I just avoided you in return. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. I only wanted to give you some advice. I ended up running you off. Aww. Can I tell you something, Ash? Yes. Of course. Tell him everything. You said that my crest is an extraordinary gift, but I don't agree with that at all. Don't people have more important qualities? Sure what do, do you mean? Like, um, how much we help those around us. Or whether or not we can make other people smile. 
I'm trying to be less negative. I've also realized that I should have a dream to pursue like you do. Oh. I think people who have something to work toward are more fulfilled. Yet here I am, living an empty life without a dream. Aww. That still sounds kind of negative to me. What does being fulfilled even mean here, anyway? Are you saying that people without dreams live empty lives? I don't agree with that. When I was a kid, I was too busy worrying about my next meal to have a dream. Was my life empty then? That's not what I mean at all. I just don't know... I don't know how to find my dream. Hey, chin up. Maybe I can help. I'm sure we can come we up with something for you in no time if we put our heads together. You'll help me? Yeah. Absolutely. Unless, uh, you don't want me to, of course. No, I would appreciate that. I want to find something worth working toward. Together, with you, and with my head held high. Great. <laughs> To put it plainly, no, I do not dislike you. Oh? Really? Oh, I was so glad I asked. Hmm. So he does care. Why were you asking me about the world outside Fodlan before? There's so much I have yet to see. Even these days, when it's ravaged by conflict, the world is so diverse. Buildings and landscapes and geography differ vastly from place to place. There's so much variety within Fodlan, and the outside world must be even more varied. I feel so inspired just thinking about it. So, I'd like to travel there someday. Ah. I see. You should go. You just encourage him, Shamir! You think so? I told you before, in order to know the world, you have to experience it for yourself. There is much to see. Even simple things. Flowers, food... Varieties that don't exist in Fodlan. New smells, new tastes. I could tell you about them, but you would only imagine them, not comprehend them. Aww. If you want true understanding, go out into the world. See it with your eyes, feel it with your skin. Speak to its people. Then you will know. Yes. Perhaps so. Is there something else? No. You've never talked to me like this before, Shamir. Oh. It's nothing. Ah, sorry. Hearing you talk about exploring the world made me think about what I should do with myself. Oh. Do you have plans for the future? After the war? Not yet. You're ahead of me there. No. I must find my own path. Ahead of you, Shamir? <laughs> I highly doubt that. If you have time for empty compliments, you have time to encourage me instead. Yes, of course. Shamir, may you find success in everything you do. <laughs> Thank you, Ignaz. I love it. I'll do my best. Okay. We can get to B. Yes. Okay. Did you hear, Kaspar? There's been another theft in the pantry. Come on! We can't waste time arguing about it like last time. We gotta catch the guy. Huh? There he is! Corner him, Ash! I've cut off his escape route. He's all yours. <laughs> They're working together? You're not together? going anywhere, you dirty thief! We did it! He was pretty nimble, but no match for the two of us together. They're working together? So I guess. But I didn't think our thief would be so... <laughs> yeah, I never would have guessed a cat this big could yeah. sneak into our pantry. So, uh, what do we do with him? <laughs> we? Weren't you the one barreling on about striking the culprit down last time? You really think I'm gonna attack him? Why don't you try your genius plan instead? Oh, Go ahead, no. talk it out. Let the cat explain himself. I doubt you'll understand a word the guy says. 
<laughs> I guess neither of us has the right solution here. So, what are we going to do with this? Oh! Huh? <laughs> Looks like he gave us the slip. <laughs> he sure did. This is bizarre. I love it. Well, after a daring escape like that, I guess there's no more we can do. I'll teach him a lesson if we ever catch him again. I thought of a pretty good plan to show him the error of his ways. Oh. Well, I've got an idea of my own, so I guess I'd better find him first. Is that a challenge? Well then, may the best plan win. All right. Oh boy. Hey, Petra. How's training going? It is going well. I am not having any troubles right now. Good, good. At least things haven't gotten worse, right? <laughs> so, did, uh, did you hear what happened the other day? The professor, really. Caspar. Oh, whoa, uh, okay, there's no need for that. You are the son of my father's killer. That means I must be killing you and taking <gasps> revenge. What? I thought you said it wasn't a big deal. We're not our parents and all that. Your optimism is not making sense. It is not possible that you are not having hatred for me. My father was killed by the Empire, by your father. And so I will be impaling you on this blade to be satisfying a deep wish of mine. So a deep wish? What are you talking about? I am talking about my wish. Of course, I am also having another wish, an even deeper wish. I wish oh. for you and I to keep being friends, to keep fighting and surviving together. Thanks. When you are speaking of your father, it is with a proud smile that injures my heart. But that is only a small thing. You also are working harder than anyone I am knowing, so I can't bring myself to be killing you. Uh, I see. I'm very so curious. you do hate me because of what happened, but... You still want to be my friend? You haven't yep. stabbed me yet, so you obviously want me to live more than you want me to die. I hope. <laughs> that must be the truth. More than all of it, I am not wishing to be losing you. It would give me great sadness. Oh. Okay, that's a relief. I don't want to lose you either, and I definitely don't want to fight you. To be honest, if things were the other way around, I don't think I'd be able to forgive you. I'd hate you. And I'd hate myself for feeling that way. Caspar. But you're not like that. You see me as your ally and your friend. You had the chance to kill me, but you used it to show me that you want me to live. You really are an incredible person, Petra. I want to be more she like you. Definitely is. I want to prove that I'm a good friend. I promise, you won't regret letting me live. You have my gratitude for your understanding. Hearing your words gives me great happiness. I was always feeling a barrier between our hearts. I am sure I was also the one putting it there. Oh. But from now onward, I will be sharing all of my heart with you. My grief and anger, joy and love, all of it. Yep. I'd like that, Petra. From now on, we'll be more honest and open with each other. Wait. Oh boy. It's the Okay. Oh, we're just doing all things. So happy. Are you going back home or what? That came out of nowhere. Haven't you noticed there's a war going on? I can't leave now. Hmm, haven't noticed. Nope. Now that I have, will you head home once it's over? To check on your parents? No. Even after the war, I can't return. With my curse, I might destroy the whole village. I won't put them at risk like that. True. 
I want to say you could go there and everything would be dandy. Yeah. The way things tend to shake out, though, it can be pretty hard not to sigh. What about you? You don't mind spending all this time away from wherever you call home? Can't say I've spent much time thinking about it. Maybe after the war is over. Oh. I've got plenty to keep me occupied. If I drop things and head home, my people will lose respect for me. I can't have that. I see. I know I should visit home at some point. It's been more than a decade since I left, though. They probably think I died. They might. All the more reason for you to go back. I know you're scared. But if you keep your visit brief, it'll work out fine. I don't know about yours, but my mother would want to know that I'm okay. I suppose I could stop by for a short visit. That might be nice. Still worried? I can accompany you. I'm sure you'll find some use for me. Huh? You know you'll be so caught up in my lively conversations, you'll have very little time for sighing. Yeah, go for it. Hmm. That plan could backfire. I might find the conversation boring, and then... That would never happen. I wouldn't allow for it. And on the off chance a beast does appear, well, that'll clear up your boredom pretty quickly, won't it? <laughs> I mean, you're not entirely you wrong. a weird sense of humor, Yuri Bird. I like that. I guess I wouldn't feel so nervous about going home if you went with me. I might even have a good time. When you're there, you feel closer to the stars. They look so clear and bright. I'd love to show you. <laughs> I look forward to it. I bet we'll even see some of the stars you taught me about. And maybe I'll finally lay eyes on that constellation you told me about. A uh, fishing rod, was it? <laughs> Okay, um... A well on Hanneman. You keep doing things that aren't called for. It's driving me batty. Oh you presuppose I am only thinking of you. Oh, let's just not do this, shall we? I don't know why we always end up fighting. It can hardly be helped. You and I seem opposed to one another on a, let's call it, an instinctual level. <laughs> Perhaps this could even be considered a form of fate. <laughs> what an awkward fate to have. <laughs> I'd Sorry. like you a lot more if I just hated you. All this fighting and making up is just exhausting. Agreed, yes. It does feel as if we have fallen into a rather tiresome bit of repetition. What a waste of effort. We're absolutely hopeless, the both of us. Hmm. Sure. Here's a thought. Couples who are similar to one another, share the same views and all that. They're pretty successful. Oh? Complete opposites work together, too. Surprisingly well, sometimes. They compensate for each other's weaknesses, and they support one another. Please, the trust that you should get more. Then I look at how hard we work just to avoid screaming at each other, and I don't buy it. Hmm. Don't be so hasty to dismiss your own hypothesis. For instance, I am apt at cleaning, but have no talent for cookery. Whilst you loathe cleaning, but are a you splendid are. chef. Just get together. Would it not be an easier life if, rather than struggle through our weaker areas, we divided the work? Huh. I suppose our differences do have their advantages that way. Indeed. If we combine our abilities, housework would be conquered and dinner rendered delicious. There are other ways we could find to support one another, I would imagine. We might make a better pair than you think. You and I, together. Yeah, you are. Huh. You might be onto something. Yes, they are, but will you two quick kiss? You and I could be pretty good together. Wait, why are we talking about this? Are you trying to propose marriage with promises of clean floors? 
You think I'm that easy of a catch? Honestly. No! I, I did no such thing. You were the one who started discussion on the topic in the first place. What are wrong so this with is me? my fault If you now? have objections, I never said let's hear them. Oh, come on. <laughs> All oh, right, we'll rent. Oh, right, we'll rent a Mercedes. Mercedes, I have heard that you are the daughter of Imperial nobility. Is that the case? It is. And oh, you have a crest as well. Is that not so? Again, oh, no. it is. Oh, oh, wow, her, I haven't really seen much of her. Update. Why did you not tell me? I was under the impression you were a commoner. Because it doesn't matter, Lawrence! I didn't mean to hide it from you, but you never asked. Besides, I am considered common now. I don't care to flaunt my noble past or my crest. I have no desire to return to that status. Then, if I may speak hypothetically a moment, does that mean that if a nobleman were to offer you his hand in marriage, you would decline? Oh, not at I mean, all. So it's a separate matter family, entirely. But even if I were to fall in love, regardless of their social status, I'm not looking to marry right now. Oh, what a relief! Uh, forgive my rudeness. I am merely envious of your flexible outlook. It is a posture that I might very well adopt. Not to say that I hang upon your every word, of course. You no? mean in terms of love and marriage? Precisely. Status should be no impediment to love. But if you marry a woman who isn't a noble, then haven't you neglected your duty? <laughs> Not exactly, no. What I said was that my marriage must benefit House Gloucester. So long as that holds true, the bloodline of my partner is actually irrelevant. For instance, if she bore a crest and was at one time considered noble... Well, now that doesn't sound flexible at all. How can you know if someone will benefit your family? Would you investigate her before allowing yourself feelings? That doesn't sound very noble of you. That is not what I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Lawrence. I was only teasing. I'm sure your lack of tact is what women find so irresistible. Uh -oh. Come again? Oh, nothing at all. I hope you do your family proud and fulfill your duty. Yes, I most certainly will. Okay, is that all pairings that I want to get out of the way? Okay, that is a lot more. I'm gonna have to save all of those for next time. First. Let's get me back into something a bit more appropriate. Silver sword plus, I mean, that's good, but still. Alright, here. Alright. Yeah, it's very annoying, but I 
want to pay a lot more for these support. So that's good. And then we get to that and do the time skip and continue on. So fun. Alright. 